Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. 
Hello, 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 everybody. Right. Um, welcome to the Blurb Show. We are Blurb, and uh, we're excited and anxious to be doing this because it's been a long time. We've been working on this stuff. <coughs> um, if you're watching at home, I hope you got yourself uh, some comfy socks on and some hot cocoa. And if you're watching here, we have a small, intimate audience of friends and family. For those of you, yes. For those of you out in the world that might be watching and jealous that you're not here, it's uh, well, you know, it's not that you're not our friend. It's just that you're not here. Yeah, I've got. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just switch gears. So, why are we here? Because um, we. Well, this is a long story. Yeah, a year ago, in the summer of 2020, um, while everyone was holed up and couldn't go anywhere, and all of us musicians were itching to get out and play. Um, I decided that would be a good time to maybe bring some old tunes to life with some good friends and good musicians just to get together and hang out and play and uh, see what would happen with all these scraps of things laying around. Blurbs, right? We have a bunch of blurbs of material lying around with no home. We figured let's make a home for them. And this is the home that we're, we've made so far. And... Um, so then time went on. That was like June of 2020. And then when February of 2021 hit, things were still not that great. And um, I approached Danny Ladmerall, who was the manager here at Cite, and asked him, would it be possible if we could have the stage for a night? And in exchange, we would give him all the money. So uh, it was cool for us because we were probably going to be, you know, hard to find an audience for obscure, weirdo, jazzish music. <laughs> Original, even worse. <laughs> it's never been tested. So we're happy to have a place to play and an audience to play for. And uh, we decided, let's uh, let's make it a donation thing. You know, sometimes as musicians, it's hard to feel like you can give back because we we are not doctors. We're not construction workers we play music and so this is our way of, of helping Cite which is a great establishment this place has been around since um, yeah uh, 2012 I believe is that right oh 20 2002 20 it's coming up on 20 years I think next year is yeah that's not my math is see we're not mathematicians either <laughs> It's coming up on 20 years next summer, I believe, is the uh, anniversary, so that's cool. Um, it's been around. It's a cool, funky, and I use that word in the most endearing way. It's super funky. Dave has a, a studio here where he teaches out of, and I used to teach in a closet, literally, with no ceiling. That was, I didn't teach there. I just hung out there. But listened, and then I listened to Dave teaching all day, which was really funky and awesome. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd hear him get there in the morning and practice the thing he was about to teach. Just make sure he had it down. The man's dedicated. So anyway, not to make the show longer than it is, we're asking humbly that if you are tuned in and you've got your socks and your cocoa and you're comfortable and you're enjoying what you see, please, there should be some information somewhere on your screen about how do you donate money to this establishment, which is really just a, a gesture of supporting the arts in general, which is a great thing. So please, please, please do that for us, for Cite, for the world. Oh. Okay, we've switched over to the acoustic bass to do our next little bit of the set. This is a song written by our bass player, Eric O'Claire, and it is entitled Mr. Dave, and it is not about Dave Trainer. Well, maybe now it is. It wasn't original. Okay, now it is.
All right. Thank you. Oh, man, that was a, that was a tune called the Rachosaurus, which is the name that my three-year-old gave it. Yeah, it's true. Well, he did, he, 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 it's what he calls a Stegosaurus, which is so beautiful. So I named this tune the Rachosaurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're changing the bass again, which seems we've already done. Now I guess I'll talk again. Oh, I have so many people to thank. Um, I'll just do this quickly. Uh, Matt Roberts from AOC, who set up all the cameras, which is the reason why you're seeing it right now. Uh, well, I'm just going to go on the list. Jay Burton, who is running sound behind the curtain right here. Do <laughs> Wizard of Oz back there. There he was. There he is. Um, uh, Danny from Cite, Danny Ladmiral, who is uh, our gracious host. Um, there's, and all of these guys, Chad Fuque, who's provided us with this amazing sound system, all of these guys were amazing in that you just had to say, hey, this is what we're doing, and they showed up and did everything perfectly, and boy, is that relieving. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well no, I haven't gotten to the band yet. I haven't gotten to the band yet. <laughs> so I'm saving, the, I'm saving the band for last. I have to give the biggest biggest heartfelt warm thanks to the band who I, I don't know if you can really fathom the amount of work that they've put in to learning this music and 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 showing up at rehearsal week after week twice a month for a, over a year i mean i've never been in a band that's rehearsed that much with very very few exceptions um it's not easy it's not easy music. For, it's not easy music. It's very uh, hard. You got to think a lot. We're sweating in our brains right now. We're only halfway through. Well, no, we're about a third of the way, two thirds of the way through. Well, we Should it? Dude. <laughs> I'm trying to we kill some air. So anyway, uh, in all seriousness, um, I love these guys, and I'm so very thankful that they showed up to do this and that they showed up week after week and they put in the, 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 the immense amount of time and energy into doing it, it means the world. Because a lot of times I just felt like I was asking too much of their time, but they did it. Th <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. Um, once again, uh, please, please, please hit that donate button or whatever you gotta do to uh, give, give a little bit to the, the cause. Um, is that it? Anybody else want to make an announcement? Daniel Kulik, you want to say anything to the people? Married? No, I'm not getting married. Daniel's not ever getting married. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna finish up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting the finger. Uh, we're gonna finish up. This next tune is written by right. No, what are we doing now? Oh, Ouroboros. This is one of mine. This is another hard one. Jesus. Didn't, all right. <laughs>
Thank you very much. This next tune is by Mr. Greg Radcliffe, and it's called Juno G.
likes of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching. If you're watching, you got to do it again tomorrow night. There's another address. You can tune in and see it. It might be better. It might be worse. We don't know. Don't forget to get... Oh, oh my goodness. Wait. I knew I forgot something, but I've been talking a lot. So anyway, thank you very much. Let's introduce the band that just played for you. Uh, all the way on the little mile left over here from Atlanta. Is that right? Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, man. Daniel Kulik. Daniel Kulik. And all the way from a small town about 45 minutes away from Montreal in the cornfield, right? Well, about I, for the last 30 years. Okay. <laughs> I, heard you, I heard you talking. I was eavesdropping earlier. Eric Eau Claire. This guy right here to my right is from somewhere in West Virginia. Ish. Well, I know him as a West Virginian. Mr. Greg Radcliffe, one of my dearest, oldest friends. On vibraphone and everything else, which you can see all the stuff he's got back here. And to his right, the man with the plan, who would normally have a really wild, crazy shirt on, but they told him he couldn't wear one because of television. So he's underdressed, he's very toned down. Mr. Dave, the man trainer. And last but not least, this guy's played with Rod Stewart, CeeLo Green, God. Mr. Tim McFadder on the saxophone. And we, and my name is Danny DeVillier, and we are Blurb. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Grab a drink from Cliff on the way out. He makes the best old fashions in the universe. And give, give, give money if you can. Please donate, support the arts. Woo!